Howdy folks, thanks for checking in to Mr. Ulrich's landofbiology.com. I am Mr. Ulrich, who sells, sells, and more sells. Yes, it's the new unit. Uh, unit 4 is going to be focusing on cells and some cellular processes. Cytology is kind of the focus of this unit. You know me, I'm going to take the word apart. Any word that starts with cyto is going to have something to do with cells. And of course, logi uh, has to do with writing stuff down. Uh, you know it as the study of. So when we see the word cytology, we're talking really about studying cells. And in order to study cells, we have to have a particular piece of technology. So what, what, what do we need to, to have? What do we need to be able to do in order to be able to study these cells? Of course, we need microscopes. So it wasn't until uh, Anton von Leeuwenhoek uh, made his uh, discovery of using lenses to look at things close up uh, that we were able to see things that were smaller than we could see <laughs> uh, and cells being rather small, at least the vast majority of them anyway, uh, you need a microscope in order to see them. Since Leeuwenhoek and his microscope, many people have put a lot of time, their whole lives, into studying cells and uh, determining how they work and what they do. Uh, what we do is we take all of those understandings of cells and put them together into these three central tenets of what we call cell theory. Now, don't get thrown off by that term theory. All right? We're not talking about uh, the usage of the word where we're not sure. Uh, these are the things that we are sure of about cells, given uh, the state of research to this day. So the three parts of cell theory, they start out, first thing, uh, that the cell is the principal unit of life, that all living things are made out of a cell, at least, or more than one cell. Not only that, all those living cells uh, have to carry out all the life processes. They all grow, they all synthesize, they all assimilate, they all respond to changes in the environment, all of those things that we talked about when we talked about the life processes. Well, with that one exception of reproduction. Uh, not all cells reproduce. As you're going to find out in your body, most of the cells in your body actually are incapable of reproduction. Uh, but we'll get to that when we start talking about stem cells. Anyway, uh, the last thing is that cells just don't come out of nowhere, that all cells come from pre-existing cells. Hopefully, this has brought up a few questions in your brain. Uh, and there are some exceptions. I'll put these in quotey marks because they're not really exceptions. They're just uh, kind of issues that need fuller explanation, I guess we would say, uh, to those three uh, tenets of, of, uh, of cell theory. The first uh, that's often posed as an exception are viruses. Now what a virus is, is uh, a little bit of DNA, sometimes RNA, that's uh, kind of surrounded in a protein coat. That's it. That's all they are. They don't have the same degree of organization that even bacteria have. Um, they can't carry out any life processes on their own. Uh, they don't synthesize. They don't have ribosomes. Uh, they, basically, the only thing they can do is reproduction. And even that, they can't do on their, no, on their own. They have to infect other cells and use another cell's machinery in order to uh, do that. So because of this, we say that viruses uh, aren't really alive. So therefore, how can they be an exception to cell theory? Uh, the other big question that comes up, of course, is if all cells come from pre-existing cells, where did the first cell come from? And there are some interesting theories, uh, the heterotroph hypothesis and uh, all these other things that we've talked about. Um, we talked about uh, the early atmosphere and early life, um, but we still don't have a, uh, a crystal clear picture on how the first cell developed. And then, of course, there's that, that, that we've already uh, mentioned, that not all cells are going to go through reproduction. Well, that's it. We'll stop there with cell theory. Thanks for checking in. Again, I'm Mr. Ulrich uh, from Mr. Ulrich's Feel free to drop me an email if you have any questions. See you in class.